Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Check out our brand new app and get access to our new pharmacology and med surge mastery courses. Plus, a massive quiz bank loaded with detailed rationales to test your knowledge. Join for free. Click the link in our description below. Now next up is anticoagulants, heparin versus warfarin. Guys, this is the most tested section of all blood thinners. So to make this a little special, we're doing a side skit. Oh yeah. Our anticoagulants slowing down those coagulation times for you, baby boo. No clots here. Yippee! Our blood is only super silica smooth, flowing through like a river. Oh yeah. All right, now anticoagulants are given for prevention. The key word there is prevention of new clots and preventing growth of existing clots, specifically with patients recovering from an MI heart attack or those at risk for a DVT, like after a hip or knee surgery. Guys, the key point is that anticoags do not dissolve clots. Only thrombolytics do that, like TPA and Altapase. So guys, don't let the NCLEX trick you. So let the name help you. Anticoagulants are anticoagulation, withholding clotting factors in the coagulation cascade, mainly blocking the formation of fibrin since fibrin forms the seals on the clot. So for warfarin and heparin, think WH for withholding clotting factors. Now heparin works quickly and warfarin works slowly. So think Heparin works hella fast, like within 20 minutes. Or think heparin starts in a hurry, but is gone in a hurry. And can only be injected into the patient. IV or sub-Q, like anoxaprine, are lower, lighter weight heparin, which we'll be covering in a moment. Now for warfarin, think warfarin is a weaker start, typically taking five days to reach full effect. So warfarin takes a longer time to kick in but it actually lasts longer and can be taken longer. So guys, just think war in warfarin is like a war. It lasts a long time. Now, patients are commonly put on both at the same time. Key word here is both medications are given together for several days. This gives warfarin enough time to catch up. Guys, that was mentioned a few times on a lot of quiz banks. Now, labs, the biggest topic that's tested by far. Guys, most test questions come from here since it's the most deadly for patients. So just think, if labs are too high, the patient will bleed out and die. And if labs are too low, then guys, clots will grow. So the key numbers to know, heparin, we measure PTT with a therapeutic range between 46 and 70. And the antidote is protamine sulfate, which is not associated with food. So think hepit is like hepit the frog. Since frogs are jumping fast, guys, heparin goes fast. So H in hepit is H for heparin. And the P in hepit is for protamine sulfate, the antidote. And PTT, the lab to know again is 46 to 70 max range. Now guys, be careful. The NCLEX is going to try and trick you. So not INR and not a PTT over 70. A com Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. Alright guys, see you next time.